Alright, what's going on people? Welcome back to some more news updates for Naruto Revolution. In today's quick video, we have a scan from Shonen Jump Magazine, this time showcasing Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama. The scan also shows a few gameplay screenshots, but we'll get into that part after. So, starting with the obvious, Hashirama will have Sage Mode, most likely in its first awakening form, and Madara will have his Gun Buy, which is the big fan that Toby used in Storm 3. So, already off the bat, we have high chances that there will be new movesets for both of these characters. As I mentioned in my previous video, Hashirama in Storm 3 was nothing in comparison to Madara. For some reason back then in the previous Storm game, they gave Madara the power of God, and they gave Hashirama the power of Yamato. And as funny as that sounds, I'm not even exaggerating. So, finally in Storm Revolution, it looks to be like Hashirama will be on par with Madara this time and not just a copy and paste from Generations. Hera's hoping that his combos has changed too. Anyway, moving on, let's get into these gameplay screenshots. So, the first one at the top. It's hard to say since half of it's been cut off, but it looks like Madara has a new Jutsu, and he might just have a new Taijutsu combo as well since his fan is on his back. Now, I don't know about you, but in my opinion, Madara's combos back in Storm 3 was a mess. It's like we tried to squeeze in everything into one Taijutsu combo. I didn't like the Susano arms coming out of nowhere. It just didn't look right. I'm sure Madara is capable of using Taijutsu properly like he did in the anime. Remember when he went up against all those hundreds of ninjas? That's what I want to see. I want to see combos like that. And since there is two awakenings, what they can do is, instead of separating the characters so there's two Madaras, they should combine them, making his old combos part of his new instant awakening. Which brings me to the next gameplay screenshot showing the final Susano, which is most likely his true awakening form, yet again introducing another monster to the Storm series. Now there's something I want to say about this, but before we do, let's move on to the next screenshot. Alright, alright, so if Madara gets a true awakening with his final Susano, his final form, it's only natural to give Hashirama his true awakening too, which is the Sage Art would release true several thousand hand technique, which was a fucking mouthful. I'm surprised I managed to get that right on the first try. Anyway, just when you thought that true awakenings couldn't get any crazier, we get this. Now, if you step back and take a good look at this, the sizes of these true awakenings are damn right insane. Look at the size of that. It almost covers the entire fucking screen. Now here's what I wanted to talk about. Is it just me, or am I seeing online boss battles in this bitch? I mean, if you think about it, that's what happens in the story mode. You get this big ass boss battle, 10 times the size of who you are, and you're fighting him. That's what we're seeing right now. Online multiplayer boss battles. This is why I'm encouraging awakenings now. Before in previous Storm games, going into awakenings like this was a taboo, because they were stronger, faster as well, despite how big they were, and the opponent was at a huge disadvantage. But now with these new gameplay mechanics, with the new battle types, things can change. So I'm really excited to see how this plays out. Like Hashirama's True Awakening for example, it looks so big I don't think it can even move. And if it does move, it doesn't look like it can chuck or dash. All I know is, if we have ways to counterattack these monsters, this can be a really fun experience. And by looking at all these awakenings, I may have to start using my Sharingan with Kakashi now. Though I don't know how that's gonna help much. Anyway, just imagine, the final form of Susano versus the Jubi. How, how could they move in that small arena? Remember, when you go into True Awakenings, there is a stage transition, so you're forced to play in that lava stage. And that arena ain't so big, I'm just saying. So we're gonna have to see how that works out. But that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below about everything that I talked about. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. This is Shigas Clouds, and I'll see you guys next time. E, 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 e.